YouTube channel. Today I am discussing about the distill bed model. Uh, so I, in this video I will discuss about what is distill bed, how we trained, uh, what is the principle behind this model. Okay, I will discuss all those things, friends. So please don't skip this video. Please watch this video till the end. So let's go into the video, friends. So distill bed is a smaller and faster version of the bed model, friends. Okay, B what is bed bidirectional encoder representations from transformer model? Okay, uh, so this distal bed model developed by the Hugging Face and the University of Washington. Okay, the main idea behind the creation of distal bed was to reduce the computational uh, resources needed for a bed while without compromising the performance of the model. Okay, so how can we achieve this? This digital bed model achieve this by using a technique called knowledge distillation. Means what is knowledge distillation? Where a large complex model such as bed is easy to train a smaller or simple model to replicate. Means to exert to replicate the performance of the large model. Uh, so they transfer that knowledge to the smaller model. Okay, that is meant by knowledge distillation, friends. So how it will happen in in case of digital bed? So bed model is to train the or teach the digital bed model to perform well on a uh, NLB tasks friends like a text classification or any other task. Okay, what are the major key differences between digital bed and bed? So digital bed uses a few layers and a smaller hidden dimensions. Okay, so due to this, the number of parameters will be reduced. So model size automatically will reduce. Okay, why like why it is using smaller fuel layers and smaller hidden dimension? Because we, we digital weight is replicating its behavior from the bed model. Okay, bed model already trained for the same data. It transferring the trained data to digital bed. Okay, because so it will learn from the bed model. It will not learn from the scratch. Okay, so we don't need that many large layers. So due to that it has a lesser size friends okay and uh, so bet bet has total transformer layers and 110 million parameters only digital bet has six transformer layers and 66 million parameters okay another key difference is uh, it uses a distillation token uh, what is meant by distillation token it 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 denote it it will denote while starting of each sentence due to that it will help, help the digital bed model to distinguish between different sentences within a larger block of text okay that is the difference of friends that is the main difference between digital bed and bed so now i am discussing more in-depth information about the knowledge distillation let's go friends so what is knowledge distillation the basic idea behind knowledge distillation is so there is a large model or there is a some model friends to already learn on some input data you want to transfer the same data uh, without training the another model from the scratch why can't we transfer the trained model uh, knowledge to the some another model that is called knowledge distillation friends means sharing the knowledge of one model to an another model so how it will help this will help suppose if you want to work on very low resources uh, computational resources and uh, where you want to work on edge devices so this technique will very helpful friends to deploy those models okay for the task so how it works during this process the teacher model means the large model generates a soft targets in addition to the hard targets so what is soft targets and what are hard targets hard, suppose we have output right so the model will predict the output okay hard target means it will predict the one probability only okay soft target means it will predict different probabilities they form a distribution but hard targets will predict a one probability there is no distribution here friends only one probability is there so that is the difference between soft target and hard target so uh, as i told the hard targets are true labels okay the soft targets are probabilities are logits okay the teacher that represents the teacher model common in each class prediction okay so how these soft targets are generated the soft targets are generated by passing input examples through the teacher model and using the output probabilities as the soft targets okay then the student model is trying to match both hard target and soft targets means so this 
the student model has to try to mimic the performance the probability distribution of teacher model okay so if the student model should predict the same behavior of the probability distribution of the soft targets okay that is friends okay so how this will help this knowledge distribution this will help, will help because when we have noisy data uh, uh, when the teacher model has learned and recognized patterns relationships so then we can easily transfer to small model friends okay so this is all about digital bit and knowledge distillation friends i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe my channel if you like this video please click on like button friends thank you all thank you everyone